delighted to be uh, uh, heading to Tempe, Arizona to represent Iowa State University in the 2009 Insight Bowl. Uh, it was just about 10 years ago that I was on the opposite sideline of Iowa State University in the Insight Bowl and uh, felt the Cyclone Nation of about 20-some thousand about every single snap for, for three hours. We anticipate another great following uh, from our fantastic fans uh, this version around in the 2009 Insight Bowl. Was that your first experience at a bowl as a coach? Second. Second. Okay. Was well, is it more meaningful to be the head coach at Iowa State to go back there, or would any bowl suffice? Oh, any bowl would suffice this year. We're, we're just thrilled to death to be, to be playing in a bowl game, to be, to be practicing in December and have the opportunity to play. Um, right now, the opportunity to lead this football team and be the head football coach and, and head to Tempe, Arizona is, is uh, uh, just a great feeling. We don't know for sure who you're going to be playing yet, but can you talk a little bit about you know, Minnesota, for example? Can you just, you know, if you know anything about them? Or, and then, you, then it, I'll ask about Michigan State. I, I, I wouldn't have any desire to talk about Minnesota right now or, or any other opponent until we find out for sure who it is that we are playing. Uh, certainly no, no speculation has been done on our part this time. It's too soon to even begin preparation in that regard. Um, we'll, we'll wait to the end of the BCS selection and, and find out how the Big Ten teams fall from them. From there, uh, I can tell you this: our, our, our coordinators will be off the road this week, and once we once we find out who the opponent is, we'll, we'll acquire film and, and they'll begin work and study uh, in earnest. Now, what will your days leading up to the bowl game be like, or leading up to I guess when you leave? The tricky thing about bowl game preparation and, and recruiting is we're right in the middle of, of contact period. There are six contact weeks. This is week two. Uh, so seven of our ten coaches will be out on the road recruiting. Uh, as I said, the, the two coordinators will be off all week long so they can get a jump start on that. We, we will have approximately anywhere from 10 to 15 recruits on campus next weekend to entertain. We'll sandwich uh, official visit weekend around three uh, bowl practices. We'll practice Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before we give the players Sunday off leading into finals week. And then we'll finish up. Uh, on-site preparation at the end of finals week with, with Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday workouts before we give them time off for Christmas break. How optimistic were you that your guys were going to end up in the inside bowl? Oh, we, we weren't optimistic one way or the other. We, we were, uh, once, once Missouri secured the victory over Kansas, we, we knew the, uh, uh, one of the eight Big 12 slots was, was reserved for us, and, and uh, we waited patiently as we began development practices uh, in, in anticipation of whatever bowl game it, it would, that it was going to be. We didn't sit around a table and, and cross our fingers for this or that. This football team, I promise you, uh, from our first team meeting on January 12th, has been working uh, as hard as they possibly can to win a bowl game in the 2009 football season. And, and uh, we're proud that it's going to be the Insight Bowl in Tempe, Arizona. What does it say about your fans and the support of Cyclone? I think it speaks volumes to, to, to what our fans mean uh, uh, to our athletic programs, to, to what they mean to, to interested uh, bowl partners, and, and uh, the recognition of, of what Iowa State University uh, and its backing are all about, and, and they anticipate those numbers being comparable to what they were in 2000, to be comparable to what they have been in past bowl games. Uh, you, you can't talk to anybody where in Cardinal Gold is not excited about heading to a bowl game uh, this holiday season. What does this mean or what does it do for you as you're trying to build this program up to make a bowl game in your first year? There, there's a number of things that, where it benefits us. Certainly the, the extra practice time. Uh, we, we got done practicing today, uh, short, intense, but got a lot of work done. Uh, kids from, from guys playing their last game in this bowl game to, to first year freshmen improved today and, and enjoyed playing the game. So, so that uh, is, is number one. Uh, the recognition you get nationally from, from playing in the bowl game and recruiting. Uh, everybody knows who's bowling and where they're going. Uh, the extra TV exposure that you get from, from a recruiting standpoint. Um, and, and on and on, the number of things that, that benefit our program uh, uh, moving forward. The credibility that you have with the players in the program. Uh, uh, going out, setting, setting the goals, setting the philosophies from, from day one, adhering to them and following them, and ending up playing in December. Uh, uh, continues to give credibility to the staff and, and, and everything we're doing to lead this program. You were hired a few days before Christmas last year. Uh, did you envision sitting here at a press conference less than a year later talking about a bowl game? I absolutely did. Why? Because that's the expectations and goals we set forth 
uh, for this football team, for the, for the players that are standing in the back of the room. Uh, the, the, the plan has been carried out from, from day one, and with that belief and with that plan has, has come improvement, which is the number one expectation we've had all season long is to improve in every area. Uh, we've just put a number of, of players on the All Big 12 academic team. Uh, our, our graduation rate is, is the highest in, in the Big 12 from an athletic department standpoint, from a football standpoint. Uh, uh, pleased with where our, our, our guys are and their attendance and those kinds of things. Uh, extremely pleased with our, with our work ethic on the field. Uh, winning three Big 12 games in this first season, putting uh, an end to, to road losing streaks, and on and on and on. From, from January 12th, from our first team meeting on, those are the kinds of things that we've set out to achieve. And, and so to be sitting here right now is, is not a surprise because the young men that, that I'm surrounded by and, and the work I see them accomplishing every day. So your plan was to not only get to a bowl game, but to, to win a bowl game. To win a bowl game. Paul, just understanding what these guys have gone through the last couple of years, losing and everything, how, how, just how satisfying is it for you to see these guys I mean, get a nice reward? Don't know, don't know if I can begin to describe it. My only disappointment today is, is the timing of all this. We weren't able to, to be in person when, when they found out. Uh, where we were going bowling, and they've known that we're going bowling, but just to announce it, regardless of where it was, just announce it to them and, and see their faces, know all the work that they've put in, but also knowing that the mission's not accomplished yet. And, and uh, they know that, I promise you. Uh, they're, they're, they're not satisfied uh, with, with the opportunity to play uh, New Year's Eve night in Tempe, Arizona. They're, they're, they're working as hard as they can to, to be in a position, preparation-wise, to, to win a bowl game. Everybody that, that uh, uh, is not already redshirted or out for the season. Darius Reynolds is, is, uh, is done. Uh, Rashawn Parker is done. Um, somebody else. No, uh, uh, Taron Benton would probably be the other one that I would have said. And he's back practicing full speed, uh, doing everything right now, and, and certainly will be available for the bowl game. Now, you, you said out there this is your third time you've been to Phoenix. Are you, what have you done in those games? I know you lost once. but I mean, Lost to, to Iowa State. Yeah. In, in 2000, beat Oregon State in 2002, lost the in, in the Insight Bowl, and uh, lost in the Fiesta Bowl uh, in Tempe, Arizona in, in 2005. Two. Uh, Utah. So you didn't have a chance to announce it to the whole team, but what have some of the conversations with the players about where you're playing and when been like? Uh, they're, 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 they're full of smiles, they're excited. Um, we have some fifth-year seniors that will be playing in their second bowl game. We've got a, a group of fourth-year seniors that never have had the opportunity. Uh, we, we've got a football team that's extremely excited and, and uh, anxious to, to, to get to experience everything that goes along with it. Uh, a bowl is a reward, and it will be an experience that they will remember for a long time to come. It will be an unbelievably enjoyable experience. But, but the best part of a bowl game is, is winning it. I, I can assure you that, too.